few yoga postures to help you wind down before bedtime and help you to drift off. So find a relaxing, comfortable position for you. You can sit with your knees crossed or outstretched, whatever feels easy for you. And just lifting the crown of the head, placing your hands on your belly. We're going to start with some yoga breathing. Nice and relaxed in the stomach. Let the belly do the breath work, breathing in, breathing out, and again, breathing in, breathing out, and connecting through the hands, and sitting back into child's pose. The ribs lashly expand to the side. Let the forehead relax, third eye into the mat. Let the shoulders relax, the neck relax. Breathing in, breathing out, and again breathing in. into tabletop position. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, cat cow, let the belly hang out, into cow, breathing in. And exhale, tuck your chin to your sternum, curve through the spine, belly to the back of the spine. Nice strong arms, and again, let the belly hang out, breathing in. And exhale, draw the chin to the sternum, straight arms without locking out. And again, let the belly hang out, inhale, and exhale, really lift in between the shoulder blades, and from here, just opening the knees gently, sitting back into wide balasana, bringing the chest, the pecs, armpits towards the floor. Deep, slow breaths here. You can bring the forehead down into the mat. Let the belly hang out with every breath that you take. Breathing out. And again, inhale. Breathing out. And inhale, roll up through the spine. Breathing out, coming on to all fours. You're going to inhale, up stage up. We're going to exhale, feed it under, down stage up. Rest the side of your head to the mat. You can stay here or if you want to, you can stretch the up stage arm up to the sky. Or you can bring it around the spine to meet the hip flexor. Lifting this top shoulder. Taking a deep breath in here. Breathing out. Inhale, rolling up through the spine. Breathing out. We're going to go to the other side. Inhale, down stage arm. Exhale, feed under, up stage arm. Stretching opposition arm. And wrapping it round to meet the hip flexor. Opening this top shoulder. Spine breathing out. 
From here, inhale, palms up to the sky. And exhale, gently take the head over to the side. Just to get a stretch in your sternocleidomastoid muscle. And inhale, back up to the sky. And exhale to the other side, gently taking the head over to one side. Feeling the stretch down the side. Inhale back up to the sky. And bringing ourselves around into seated posture. We're going to inhale, palms up. And exhale, gently twist, rotate. Start from the lower spine first. Open the back shoulder. Keep the belly doing yogic breathing, big inhalations. Let the rib cage soften, breathing out. We're gonna inhale, gently rotate back to neutral. And exhale, gently twist from the lumbar spine, moving nice and slowly. You can use the downstage fan to gently press on the thigh. Draw down this shoulder and then gently breathing, coming back to center. If you have a block, you can use your block. Janu Sasana. My left leg is going to be turned out to the adductor. You're going to inhale, crown of the head, and you're going to exhale, walk your hands forward, nice and gentle on the body. Think about scooping the belly, relax the head. And if you want to be super relaxed for the head, the forehead, you can relax third eye onto the block. And relax the arms, palms up. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, draw the belly to the back of the spine. And again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rolling up through the spine. So gently swap to the other side, breathing nice and slowly. You can inhale, give the ribs a little lift. Exhale, bring the ribs over the hamstring. And then again, relaxing the palms here, relaxing the neck, the shoulders. No forceful stretch, very gentle on the body. And again, if you want to allow the head to be supported, use your block and really relax the weight of the head into the block. Gently encouraging the knee to go out to the side. Breathing in, let the belly inflate. Rib cage expand. Exhale, draw the belly to the back of the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rolling up through the spine, removing the block. Breathing out, gently bring yourself around to a comfortable seated position with your knees flexed. Breathing, breathing out, tucking the chin to the stem. Draw the belly to the back of the spine. And then you can just let the feet relax into Badakanaska. Allow the head of the relaxed behind you. And if you'd like to make it a little bit more comfortable for you, you can place your head on the pillows behind you. And just allow the knees to open into the mat, palms to be lifted up to the sky, pronating up to the sky. Take a breath in here, imagine that belly rising up to the sky. And exhale, draw the belly to the back of the spine. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, gently bring the knees together. And give the knees a hug, drawing the knees towards your torso. And rock from side to side. And from here, you can remove the pillows if you like. 
we're going to go into happy baby. So we're just taking the outside of the ankles. You can take the shins if that's more comfortable. And then just drawing the knees towards the armpits. So this will stretch the hips, stretch the lower spine. Taking a few breaths here. If you want, you can stretch one leg out and then the other. Or you can keep this stretch static, drawing those knees towards the armpits. Letting the belly gently inflate and decompress. And then inhale, bring the knees back to centre. Exhale, flex the feet away from you, whole body stretch, breathing in, and exhale, and take the downstage knee into the torso, as high as you can, gently take this knee, breathing in, breathing out, gently bringing the leg across the upstage leg, spinal twist. See if you could have both armpits into the mat. Turn the head the opposite direction where your knee is heading. Breathing calmly and deeply. And inhale, coming back to centre. And then from here, straightening the downstage leg. Inhale. Upstage leg as high as you can. And then exhale, bring the upstage leg over downstage leg. And if the knees don't talk, quite touch, you can put the knee onto your cushions and encourage the knee down into the mat. Allow the armpits to relax. If that feels a little too much for you, you can just take the knees together and use the top free arm to encourage the knees down into the mat. Big belly breath here and exhale. Inhale, draw the knees back through to centre using Muller Banda, belly to the back of the spine. Moving nice and gently. And at this point, allowing the head to relax into the cushions. Taking one leg down, then the other. Checking that pelvis is nice and neutral. Palms pronating up to the sky. And going into relaxation, stretching the legs out. Allow the whole of your body to be completely relaxed. Keep elongating the breath, making your out breath longer than your in breath. To activate the vagus nerve that runs from the neck to the diaphragm and tells your nervous system to chill out. Keep the breath really deep. And if you prefer, you can bring your feet together and incline Badakanasana. Allow the body to drift off. 